Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to be creating a new tutorial um, to make these nav items jump to specific sections on the page. So like a little nav link uh, j page jumper. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but uh, the functionality will basically be when you click the about uh, tab, it would scroll down to the about section. When you clicked how it works, it would scroll down to the how it works section. Um, so the way it's currently set up is I've just got a simple nav menu right here and each one of the hrefs is um, targeting a spe specific ID on the page. Um, so by default, the way this works is if I was to just click about, it would actually add that to the, um, the URL and it would push it down to the um, about section. So it would actually scroll down to the about section, but obviously you can see it's cut off at the top because um, this top menu bar is positioned, uh, it's a fixed position, so it's not taking that into account when you're clicking each one of these buttons. And it's just jumping to these sections instead of scrolling, so it's pretty ugly. Um, so that's the default action of how that's actually working. Um, so we're going to use some jQuery magic and make it so it's, uh, it, it slides nicely. So the first thing we got to do, I've got my, my folder structure here, it's very simple, I've just got Bootstrap and custom CSS, my images, some CSS files, so that's pretty much it. Um, on the page I've got jQuery enabled, uh, or included right here at the bottom of the page, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then the rest of the HTML on the page. So basically what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to listen for a specific click. And we're going to be listening to a click on a specific class. So each one of these nav items has a class of slide section. Um, so that's basically what we're going to be looking for to slide the actual nav item down. So let's do slide section. And so on click, we want to do something. So we're going to use the dot click. Oops. Okay, so now this is, it should be alerting clicked once we, once we do this. So click, boom, clicked. Okay, so that's cool. And then it sends us down to the about tab. So that's not right. We want to disable the action completely. So the way we would do that is we would pass a little parameter here, which is the event handler. Um, and then we're going to do E, which is just relative to that E right here. And we're going to do prevent default. So this basically just prevents the default action of that link. So it's not going to um, it's not going to actually go to the link at all. Okay, so now when we click about, well, let's wait for the page to load. When we click about now, it's just gonna do clicked and you can see it doesn't go anywhere now, so that's perfect. You do clicked, it's clicked, they're all doing the right thing. So cool, we got that to work, we know it's being clicked. So now the next step is basically we need to create, we need to capture the href in that link. Um, so we want to create a variable and we'll call it link href. What we're going to do is we're going to say this and this is referring to the slide section. So whatever item that you just clicked, this is going to, that, that's what this is going to be. So now we want to do, we want to look at the attributes and we want to grab the href attribute. So now we can console.log that link href. So now if we open up our console, we'll see that when we click it, you'll see it says the it's actually grabbing the href value and putting it in the console now. So that's cool. So we've got that. So that's working perfectly. So let's see now. So the next thing we want to do is we basically want to um, now that we have the ID, we, we want to scroll it down to that position on the page. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to do, whenever, whenever it's clicked, we want to scroll it down. So we're going to do HTML comma body, and we're going to do animate. So this function basically animates uh, base, any type of CSS property. You can go look at it in the uh, jQuery documentation, but it can animate a lot of stuff. 
So we're going to use animate, and then we're going to use um, a specific property called scroll top. Um, so if we just go look at that right now, animate uh, jQuery and scroll top. Let's just look at the regular animate and see if it's there. Not sure if it's here, but the proper property we're going to be using is called scroll top. Um, and I'll explain a little more once we get into it. So basically we're going to use this and we want it to scroll um, from the top of the page to a specific spot. And the way we're going to do that is we need to look at the actual link href. So remember, remember that this is giving us the ID. Um, so that's going to be selecting the ID and then we need to do offset top. So that's gonna give us the position of the top. So if we actually, we can just do this for now. We can just console.log the actual, comment this out, make sure nothing breaks. So we can, we can look at this now. So you'll see 747, 16996, 2225, so it's giving us all these different values based on where they are on the page relative to the top. So that's how we're going to set the position of it with the animate function. So now we'll do that, and that should be good. So we'll close this. Now if we click it, boom, there it goes. Um, and you can also change the speed of this. You can pass it as a second parameter. So we'll just say um, 1,000 milliseconds, which is one, millis or one second. So now about. Perfect, how it works, submit a case. So it's scrolling down to the right sections now, but you can see that there's a problem. Um, it's actually not scrolling to the top of those sections because it's not calculating the header height as well. Um, and that's because it's fixed. So that's just another, we just need to, basically we need to calculate that info right there. So we need to create a new variable and we'll call it um, header height and we'll say, uh, Basically, it's, it's the header on the page. There's no class for it, I don't believe. Yeah, see, just, just header. Um, and header is encapsulating both of these. There's a main header and a subheader. So we just want to get the actual height of that. So let's do a console.log header height. Make sure that it's calculating that correctly. 158. 158, 158. So 158 is the height of the header. So we actually don't have to do it in the in the click function because that means it's going to be doing it every time. We'll just we'll just initialize get the header height. Um, so that's pretty much all we need there. And then right here, this is actually where that calculation that's going to happen. We want to subtract that number from the header height. So now everything should work properly. If we go back to the top of the page, about, there we go. So now it works as expected. It's calculating it correctly. And that's how you create the one page navigation. Thanks guys for watching.